So what is going on guys, Fly here from Auto Studios and today I'm bringing you another video on some pretty amazing DLC that we're going to be possibly getting in GTA 5, the single player mode, the campaign mode, so if you guys do enjoy this video, why not leave a like down below as it really does help me out and supports the channel, and let's get on into it. So last year, around the Christmas DLC time when that dropped, Rockstar made a mention on their newswire that there would be some story mode DLC at some point added into GTA 5. Now, this, well, we didn't really know much about it, they just kind of were quite vague about it, they didn't tell us really what was going to be brought to the table, apart from the fact that it would be story mode DLC. Now, we've had some more leaks from the guys over at the GTA forums, and this would hint towards the possibility of possibly in the future seeing some more assassination missions. Now, for those of you that don't know, the assassination missions in GTA 5 story mode that were already there, where you had to go and kill someone and then you could their stocks would fluctuate for whatever business they represented. You could then bet on the not bet on them, but invest in them in the GTA 5 stock market and ho hopefully make a lot of money. But aside from that, just the mission itself was normally quite fun. You had to go and find someone and to do whatever. Each one had a kind of different way of taking them out and making sure the job got done and we've had some hints towards the indication of 12 more being brought into GTA 5. Now as you can see on the screen now there's going to be a list of the, the of the code findings of all of their names so we haven't got it in clear text yet but this is just some basic code to kind of explain what we have so we have DLC assassination police DLC Assassin Retrieve, Cable Car, General, Subway, Drugs, Helicopter, Barber, Street, Vineyard, Hunter, and Skydive. Now, some of these sound really cool guys, such as the Skydive one. Imagine having, I don't know, like an assassination mission where you're jumping out of a plane or a helicopter and you have to kill someone on your way down. I don't know exactly what it's going to be, none of us really do, but that sounds like it would be something really, really fun, guys. Hopefully something to do with drugs would be something a bit different. Maybe there's a drug deal going on somewhere in uh, the Los Santos area and you have to go and trying to create a hold up, kill someone or multiple people and get out of there again. So some of these sound really, really cool guys. I imagine the cable car one may be something to do with sniping someone out. I'm really excited to see what actually comes of this guys. So we know kind of what we have here. There's also the, the scoring for the different missions that has been leaked, but I'm not going to go over all of that because that's a, that's a lot of code and there's 12 of them. So I really don't want to do that. So hopefully this will be some really great news for some story mode DLC. I'm really excited to see more in there. I love the story mode. Um, I, I like GTA Online a lot. I really, really enjoy that. But the story mode just had something special about it with the characters that really I haven't seen in online. So, what do you guys think of this new DLC link? Are you guys excited for it? If you are, why not leave a comment down below? It's also telling me what else you would like to see possibly added to GTA 5 online or just the campaign. So, that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. Go ahead and like this video if you did enjoy it, and remember to comment down below with those questions that I asked you. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Flo from Auto Studios. Signing out.